Hello and welcome to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit. Just a few more minutes now before the Moto3 race at the Spanish Grand Prix finally begins. As you can tell from the live pictures we're bringing you, it's going to be fine weather for the race. Alrighty guys, back on MotoGP 17. Today we are hitting up the Jerez circuit or Jerez, whichever pronunciation you choose for the Spanish Grand Prix here in the MotoGP 17 series that I've got going on. It's Moto3 first up as per usual and we managed to grab our first win on MotoGP 17 and our first win at all this year uh, in the Moto3 category at the Circuit of the Americas. So we'll be, look we'll be looking to uh, replicate that today and hopefully get this day off to a good start. Alrighty, here we go. Now for those once again that are tuning in for the first time to my series, I am using a full 2018 update. So this is the PC that you're watching this game on and we have got a full 2018 modification to the game with all the new riders and bikes and logos and whatnot. So it all looks and feels just like 2018. So bike's been pretty quick so far this weekend. Just hope we can continue that pace throughout the whole race. We actually have managed to put it on the pole where we qualified first by about half a second. Now once again for those that are new for the first time to my series, we are playing on the, or riding on the hardest difficulty that there is. So I think it's realistic or I think that's what it's called. I, I play so many different sim games that I always get mixed up as to which difficulty is which game. But this track, I must admit, I I do like it quite a lot. I've been fast on the past MotoGP game, so hopefully we can just hold this pace in the race. So the race is about to begin, and the riders know that all the hard work they put in won't mean a thing if they can't cross the finish line in one of the positions that counts. Alrighty, here we go. Round number four in Moto3. Time to boogie. I think we've beaten Canet to turn one. Oh, big dive bomb. Oh, <laughs> elbows out. Uh, wow, we're getting muscled out of the way here. We're three wide with our Sky VR teammates, come on. Oh gosh. Uh, come on, Joseph, focus ahead. Stop looking backwards. I've got, got to stop dropping it off the edge of the curb. I'm going to put it down in a second. I keep doing that. Uh, elbows out. 50-50. <laughs> We're on the outside. Oh, shit. Too far. That was scary. Threading the needle. Alright, so now we just need to put our head down and log some laps and hopefully they don't chuck it underneath me at this straight. Come on, gotta go to get gotta get a good exit. You shall not draft. Oh that was 
deep. That was very deep. Can't make any mistakes. Like that. <laughs> Exhibit A. Wait, have I got. Hold on. Keep four wheel drifting. Oh, that's why. Four wheel drifting, you're on a bike, Joseph. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that was very deep. Come on. Oh. Do you realize I haven't got the soft tire on like I did in qualifying so I'm going a little bit too overboard into some of these corners. Ah, come on. Grip, baby, grip. Foggia. Oh, wow. It's a Rossi one, two, three. Had a Ricardo Verstappen moment there. God, come on, Joseph. Start riding it. Get it together. Oh, gosh, this isn't going to end well. Freight trained. Nice. Gosh, that would be awesome if we could get a Sky VR46, 1, 2, 3. Oh, very deep again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was mayhem. Oh, go away. You're ruining my exit. I'm riding. In qualifying, I was so good. I was lap for lap, just so consistent until I got to the pole and can't get it down in the race. This medium tyre is screwing with my head. That's better.
big move for the lead. Oh, sorry. Nice. Alright, head down, ass up, let's go. <laughs> That's the way we like to ride. too early then. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, go you good thing. That's wow, a long race. It's half race distance of the real life race, but it feels like it's taken a lot longer than usual. It's alright. Love this track. Wrong gear. Alright, that's better. Come on, let's break. I can't get this section right. This whole final sort of sector is really flowing, but it's quite hard to hit the apex on a bike. There we go. That's better. Still nowhere near enough speed, but that's alright. Build up a small gap. Not get the front end to stick through there. Keep drifting out wide. Ah, oh, shit. Just lacking a little bit of front end grip right now. section right at least once in this race. Uh, shit, we already cocked that up. And that. Come 
down. Well, the first sector down, and the second sector's not too bad. It's the third sector that I cannot get right for my life. Oh god. Yeah, I say that completely screw up the first sector. <laughs> That's better. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. This will be a good lap now. If I just get around to the last corner, no troubles. Then reason. Gap stayed fairly similar. Forty-eight seven nine. That's better. Qualifying, I did a forty-seven three on the soft tyre, so we're about six tenths off that, which is about right. Still a Sky VR 123 right now. VR 46, as I should say. That corner really does cut in on itself. Ah. God, do not touch triple strips going into corners on this game. You will die. Alright, starting to build a pretty healthy gap now. Three to go. I can't even see him anymore. There they are. Ah, come on. Fucking hell. 
It's embarrassing. Oh, what is track limits? Too much rear brake. The problem is the uh, the rear brake is a button on the controller on the PS4 controller, which is what I'm using on the PC. So pretty much, if you tap the brake, it's like. If you try, well, you try and use the rear brake as you would in real life, it just sort of locks the rear up, so you can only, like, tap it sort of thing. You can't really hold onto it or ride it. So it makes it just that, more, <laughs> that much more difficult. That was a very poor lap, I must admit. I think Foggy is actually, well, Foggy and Bulliger have actually caught up a little bit. Yeah, 150.0, that was horrible. That's right, it is the last lap, so we don't have to panic. Oh, just stop making mistakes. Half a lap to go, come on. Yeah, that's a good last lap. <laughs> All right, win number two. Yes, man, we're on a roll now. Two from two. Let's see if we can make it three from three in round five. But wow, what a race! Managed to snag the win from Bulliger and Forgia. So it was a Sky VR forty six one two three. That is so cool. Wow, that is cool. So, Bulliger second, Foggia third, Jorge Martin fourth, Aaron Canet fifth, Bastanini sixth, Alonso Lopez seventh, Philip Ertel eighth, Andrea Mino ninth, and Marcos Ramirez tenth, Livio Loy eleventh. So, there was a pretty. Oh, Antonelli, Antonelli, I suppose, down in sixteenth. It's a bit of a bad result. Cornfield down in twenty fifth. A lot of these guys probably would have had wrecks here and there or put the bike down. 
It's uh, John McPhee, the Brit, or the fellow Brit, I should say, down in 17th. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for Moto2 that's coming up here in a bit. But for now, we will enjoy this VR46 1-2-3 and our second victory in Moto3 on this season so far.